Hi guys, this is Don. I had a question about using StatCrunch to solve a binom binomial distribution problem. And uh, I want to show you the uh, complicated way to do that. And, and it's something you can uh, actually use this equation, uh, plug it into your calculator or into uh, Excel and solve for these probabilities. But StatCrunch is a, uh, a whole lot faster. And this question, it, we were told that 41% of the students say they use credit cards because the rewards program, you select 10 randomly and ask them to name the reason they use credit cards, find the probability that the number who say they use credit cards because the rewards program is exactly two, more than two, and between two and five inclusive. And it says there, if convenient, use technology. And uh, bless your hearts, StatCrunch will make this uh, much simpler and, and less painful to do. Okay, um, we know this is binomial because there's only two outcomes. Either the student uh, does or does not say they use credit cards. And um, so that's your binomial, one or the other. So let's go to StatCrunch. Go to StatCrunch, and I'm going to bring up the calculator and go to, oops, there it is, binomial calculator. And um, it pops up. I've got some old data in here. Let me um, recall. I think I think we were looking at, uh, yeah, 10 students, but the P, the probability, or the proportion was 0.41. And the first part wants to know what is the probability that exactly two of the students said they use that. So we're going to put two in here, and then we're going to click on this box, and we want to look for equal because we want to know exactly the, prob the probability of exactly two saying they do that. And you get this nice uh, semi histogram there with the red bar showing. Uh, on this uh, binomial that exactly two comes up to 11%. And that's what it gives us down here, 0.111 for exactly two. The next question is more than two. So we can click in our down box here again selects the greater than so we want everything greater than two and you can see our histogram the red part that's everything beyond two and that's equal to 84.8.848 uh, or 84.8 percent probability that will be greater than two the last part of the question is between two and five so this time we click on our between portion of the calculator, leave everything else the same, and we're going to put two and five, click compute, and we can see between two and five, that doesn't include one, and doesn't include six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc., is 77.6% or 0.776. So really that's, that's all there is uh, to do it uh, to solve binomial problems using the binomial calculator in StatCrunch. So I hope that helps. Mm -hmm.